like that. I sing in bars, Mahalala, I'm calling. Driving scene, yeah. Led Zepp, immigrant song, kicking loud and large on the radio. Friday the 13th. That's what time it is. Came upstairs, rocked out to this. I love you. I'm freaked out for another day. Here we go. This is my old boss coming right up here. Hello. Or maybe it might not be. But he had a truck like that. And I washed it and cleaned it once. Mark Goodrill contracting people. And yeah. Got the Stooges on. No fun. It's a great song to skate to. Uh, Stooges are a great band to rock out and skate to. Uh, got the board right here. I just came back from the high school's uh, yard sale. I wanted them to... Uh, Hope we have some records or some uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures, but that didn't happen, of course. Didn't have too much cool stuff. A few old VHSs, anything collectors, I guess. I don't know. The only thing I really would have liked to see was Jaws, but that's a real good movie that I need to watch. And just come on, no fun, babe. No fun, The Stooges is a great classic punk track. Anybody who digs the rock and roll and Iggy Pop would agree that this song will rip you in your heart and place it in with a raw love for the Stooges, Iggy. I little piece and hipsters, uh, so I went to the TDHS thing, was no thing, so I had to get my fix somewhere else. I got the fix off a man called Red, and what you're hearing now is the beauty of it all. So I got this record. The Edgar Winter Group. This song's called Frankenstein. My favorite one, possibly. This song I can remember jamming out to in Colossanes, uh, with my sister's pink, uh, Zoom, uh, MP, or slash iPod. But yeah, good tune right here, and rock out. Check out the front cover, the inside. Good stuff. Big thank you to Rick Derner. This record might be need a little wipe down though, because I can already hear a uh, broken record going round and round, same spot over again. And then I want to show you some other things that I got right here, okay? Check it out. So I got these three. Smurf. Had to get them. Asked him how much they were, and he's like, just take it. Then he joked with me that, uh, it'd be double next time or something. Next I had to grab was this cab patch kid. It's got a lot of good detail on the hair. The hair actually flips up on the back a tiny bit, tad bit. Pretty tight face, not squishy. And yeah, her body's squishy. Legs move semi, hardly at all though. But yeah, I had to get these two. Little friends forever. So yeah, these are the daily fixtures that I got today from Reds. Reds Antiques okay. people. Dizzy. Me and Matt are walking down to go babysit. Isn't that right, Matt? Oh, yeah. Okay, Matt got a new haircut. He's looking sharp. 
Sharp dressed man with a gun. Shoot your gun. Pop goes the weasel. Rock out. Alright, so when I uh, was skateboarding back from uh, Red Shows, the Red Antiques, uh, I uh, was listening to Children of the Grave and uh, Electric Funeral by Black Sabbath, Skateboarding Home. It was awesome. Austin. Too fast, too furious. Brother, twins, wearing the same clothes. She just sits there by Sounds herself. Sounds like a storm's coming in. Nick? We got a pile of easy Brandy ride. Brandy's got Hitler in here. And I just taped my arm up. Into a cast. Come on, let's take a free ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a bear ass? Where the fuck did that go? One fourteen. Been spinning some Ozzy. Been rolling on some Ozzy. Giving him the green beard. I, I'm gonna share a little quick dream. Little story. Uh, maybe around seven-ish. Uh, I started reading a little bit more of the Shuri, Shuri, Shuri story. Uh, Neon Angel. And uh, put on the Ozzy. Of course, I've been rocking it to him today a lot. Uh, <laughs> Randy, I love you. Ozzy and Randy. That's who it is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and then I stopped reading and uh, once Sato came on, uh, yeah, I stopped reading and then I just laid down in my bed and I eventually fell asleep. And uh, I had a dream that... Uh, I was like parodying her and hanging out with Ozzy or Randy or something. Uh, it was real hazy, the dream. I can't real, really remember much of it, but it's kind of like a, one of them dreams where you don't really remember. It's just a big haze. And yeah, so today was kind of lazy-ish. Went over to Brandon's, checked out them Easy Rider mags. Uh, Pretty wild shit. Uh, interesting stuff with the bikes. Best part of the song. Best part! Alright, this is my favorite part of the song. A dooka 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 doon, dooka dooka doon, a dooka dooka doon. Kill yourself to live. Never say die. Happy for this piece of stuff. Here we are. I'm at my locker. Yo. Alright, Marshall. <laughs> Let's see this tap. Juggalo, unite. Catch it, man. How much? Free. 
Free. Risco, Risco. Hey, Risco. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You can't always get what you want. Yo, Steve-o. Get some other people. <laughs> There's people selling candy, see? Candy sellers. Henry likes you, Abby. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Printed out some pictures. What are you doing, Kyle? This new music. Like a Gigi. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna use these pictures for the collage. Um, there's lots of Randy Rhodes. Um, one of my favorite guitar players right now. And, uh, Ozzy, rock now, and having a good time, so everybody should keep on trucking, keep on playing the good music. What's his name again? Matt? No, well Matt too, and what's the other guy? John? Who, who gave you all those ninja toys? Remember? He had, like, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon and Bran. Brandon was our cousin, right? Came over for Justin. Brandon's our cousin. Right. Right, so, uh, yeah, yeah. My camera lens has a crack in it, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. This is David Bowie flash track off uh, Hunky Dory, the Bule Brothers. Beautiful song on uh, acoustic. It's real nice and slow. And I, but that's what I really love about it. It's taken me a while, but now it's starting to latch on to me. It's really a beautiful song. Bowie wrote a lot of beautiful music, I believe. And I'm going to show you some Now I'm going to show you the guy who introduced free basing, or known as smoking cocaine, as Sherry calls it. This is the man who introduced it all to her. His name is Ty Young, and it's her uh, sister Sandy's husband, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is them in 1974. This man made Cherie have a terrible addiction after smoking uh, crack or coke. Because pretty much he just mentions it, mentions it as smoking coke. Their dad went through a terrible alcoholic phase. Pretty much alcohol all his life. Poor guy. This is her mom and Wolfgang. They moved to Indonesia with their brother Donnie when he was younger. This is obviously in 1980. This happened around 1975, I believe. No, but so, yeah. Right now I'll be going to bed. It's 1.17. So good night and no bone movies. Ozzy.